baking. And today I am going to make a recipe from Anthony Bourdain's Appetites book. He was one of my favorite people. I always watched him on TV and I learned to love travel and tasting different things on my travels and I cannot believe that he has passed away and it's very tragic and I wanted to do a video to commemorate his cooking and his love for travel. He is just one of my favorite people and I can't believe he's gone because it's really sad. But we're gonna cook something from his cookbook. Well, I'm gonna make this whole roasted fish but I did not get a wild black sea bass because we could not find it anywhere. So I got a branzini fish which um, is not as big as a sea bass but it will work for just two people, just me and my husband. Um, okay. Hunter S. Thompson Let's style. Okay. Yes. 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 Here's our fish. I am excited to open this up. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Because they gutted it for me. And then I need our lemons. Lemons. Oh. Oh. And wine. You always need to have wine when you're cooking your food. You need wine. White wine is always good to have with fish or chicken. And red wine is good with red meat. So whatever the color meat is, is the color wine that you should get. Oh, he's fishy. He's fishy. <laughs> he's fishy already. I can smell it. Ooh, bloody. Oh, he's bloody too. <laughs> Get them out of the bag. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is like I'm at oh I'm at Sea World or something. Oh man. We've got the scales on. I'm gonna rinse the fish and then we're gonna pat it dry and then douse it with some olive oil on the inside. Hi, oh gosh, he has a jaw. Like I can feel Make him talk. Hello. Damn, this way. Alrighty. Oh gosh, he feels so weird. I've never cooked a whole fish before, so this is kind of freaking me out. It's like so bony. Just... So I'm gonna just drizzle this. You need about a tablespoon, so I'm just a little. Yes, that's good. And then I'm gonna rub it, and then rub it on the inside. There's bones, so be careful. And then get the other side and pat the fish. You need to salt the inside and the outside, so it's a little bit on the outside. A little bit on the inside. And then pepper. Yeah, pepper the inside, pepper the outside. To make sure it's nice and coated. I like a lot of pepper. Alright, I'm going to uh, cut the lemon now for the fish, and we're gonna put little rounds inside of the fish and also on top of the fish. We got our lemon. Knife. So we're gonna slice the little rounds, and then we're gonna tape put it inside of the fish. Even though this fish is not big enough for these lemons, but I mean, he can he can hold it, I guess, right? So we got our oregano and thyme here, and we're gonna inside of the fish with the lemon, kind of stuff them in there. We're also gonna put some on top too, so I sleep. All right, he looks cute. I feel like these should be roasted with the fish. But... <laughs> Shoot, that went down there. I'm gonna put these in with the onions. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper it. Okay, so now I'm putting the fish in the pan. Just be very gentle, you know, you don't want any of that good food to come out, the ingredients. Just place them right on top. I'm gonna angle him a little bit for this pan. Just to make sure he fits in there. So you wanna set your oven to 500. Our oven runs kind of hot, so I'm putting it at 475, and you're going to bake him 
for 20 to 24 minutes. So we're gonna get foil. And then we're gonna tightly kind of make sure it's all covered up in there. And hopefully he'll be delicious. Done. <laughs> yeah, he's cooked. It needs to be 130. So our fish is cooked, and I hope it tastes good. Cause it smells good. It smells very lemony. Mm. Thank you for watching my video on how to make this Branzini fish, and I hope that you uh, continue to keep watching my cooking videos. And I hope this also does Anthony Bourdain's recipe justice. So we'll have to try it. Thanks.